Okay, guys. Second box of the day. Something's got to make this day a little better. Fortune cookie sucked. And, man, I was a little shocked to see the friggin' Bible verse thing in it. Because, I mean, the one thing you kind of don't do in business is, like, religion and politics. And, yeah, I, I don't know. It was a little weirded out. I mean, you know, you had a line of products come out for Rocky Horror Picture Show. Your, oh, it's Witch Baby Soaps. Yes. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so Witch Baby Soaps, amazing. So let's, real quick, Fortune Cookie Soaps. You got a line of products that came out. I'm not using the thing. I'm doing it all one-handed today. Um, you got a line of products that came out for Rocky Horror Picture Show. Meanwhile, then you're passing a religious verse on the back of your Fortune Cookie thingamajiggy. Or the fortune on it. Uh, you know, you just basically sold a bunch of products to make the almighty dollar on a guy who is a transvestite transsexual from Transylvania. Where does the religion in the next box come into? I, I don't know, man. This, this company is just like... Uh, I got it. I got to can the company. Here you go. Here is the Witch Baby Soaps code. If you want 5% off your order, type in Abracadabra. You get a good look at it because I'm going to take it down in two seconds. One, two. Ha, ha, ha. Now, here is her awesome card. These cards are fairly new. So I am like really loving them. Really, really loving these new cards. I actually have kept a couple of them. They're really cool. I like them. I like them a lot. Okay. Let's keep going. She always sends a sample. Um, I think you could probably request a sample, too. I've never done it with her. But I'm sure you could just write in a little note to sell it if you sell her if you want to, like, sample something decent. You know, like, something you want to try. This is on the floor. <laughs> okay, this is usually what the little sample soaps look like. They're so adorable to just put in, like, the soap dish in, like, guest bathrooms or just in your bathroom for a guest to use type deal. But this one is... Hexbreaker. Um, apparently they all do like a certain little thing for you too. Like, uh, this one smells, um, I don't know. Different. I haven't ordered Hexbreaker yet, so I don't know what exactly it's supposed to smell like. I think it smells kind of like citrusy. Like, not like a nasty citrusy though. Like, kind of like a lemon and orange and lime type peel, you know? I kind of like it. Yeah, to me, I smell like lime in it, so I like it. I think I'm going to order Hexbreaker. I need it, too. <laughs> Something's got to break the hex on me. Okay, so one-handed, let's keep going here. Uh, peanuts, 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 peanuts. <gasps> oh. Okay, guys, see this bath bomb? This bath bomb is called the Oracle. Oracle is a humongous... Look how thick that is. This is a humongous bath bomb. But it is in my all-time favorite witch baby soap scent. Oh my god, Lily and Carnation. <gasps> so good. This bath bomb retails for 10 bucks, but it's so fucking huge. That you could probably break it into like three pieces and get decent bath out of it if you had to. I won't do that simply because I'm going to indulge and have a good old time in it. And love it and use it the way it's supposed to be used. But also, I found out there is... Just like if you were working on a real Ouija board, if you ask their question, it'll spit you out a little tag that says either like yes or no on it. So when you go to place your bath bomb in the water, ask it a yes or no question, and it will give you an answer. <laughs> You'll actually see a little answer float up. It's really cool. So I love Witch Baby. Absolutely get a kick out of the products. Definitely an amazing company. If you really want to go for a pretty decent bomb and at a decent, decent, decent price, I mean, she's got a hell of a good bomb. Go for Witch Baby. She has the two heart bombs that are like four dollars a piece. One is called the Rune, and gives you a little little Rune Stone trinket to hold on to afterwards. And the other one is Love. The Love Line products are rose and apple scented. Really fucking good. Uh, Rune is more uh, like eucalyptus -y scent. Um, I like it. Plus, I like it that you get a little stone afterwards with it, and you get to keep it, and it has a little symbol on it. But uh, Love is my all-time favorite. I really do love that, and I love this one, which is the Lily Incarnation scent. So, there's one of those. Put him down on my laptop. Ooh, there's two of those. Um, she has really good price soaps at like four and five bucks. I think they're five bucks. Really good price so soaps at about five dollars. Yeah, they're melt and pour, but they're fucking awesome and they smell great. Uh, they do melt mighty fast, so do not leave them in the shower. And if you are going to leave them on the shower, please leave them on a very good drained type soap dish. Okay? 
Alright, oh, okay, here we go. We got another one, so I can ask two questions. But Oracle, look at the color on the back, and it comes out like blood red. Oh, God, it's so cool. Oracle's an amazing bath bomb. I really, really, really love this. Oh, my God, I think I'm just going to leave them out and, like, have the smell everywhere. Oh, that looks so pretty together. Instagram photo. I think that's it. Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't think there's anything else in here. I don't think there's supposed to be anything else in here. Yep, that was it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's something else in the bottom. Shit, I almost got rid of the box. All right, there's something else. Oh, I forgot about you, buddy. This soap retails for five bucks. And this is the candy apple. <gasps> I wanted to try this one so bad. I wanted to try it when I saw it on her Instagram page. So I was so glad that it came out this Halloween. But this is the candy apple soap. Let's give it a whiff. Oh my god. Oh, hell yeah, she did it again. She's got amazing scent oils. Look at the little ghost on it. Isn't that pretty? That's so adorable. I want another one of these. Oh my god, I want another candy apple soap so bad. Oh, okay. Wish baby soaps. You've kind of saved a shitty day. All right, we've got a lot of stress going on here with moving and selling homes and buying homes and all that stress and hoopla. Wish baby soaps saved the day. I'm really happy. I'm very, very happy right now. Okay, so all together I got to test out Hexbreaker, which that's that little heart soap right there. And I got my candy apple soap, which, wow, am I impressed with. And my two Oracle bath bombs. Now, they are the most expensive bath bombs she has on the site at this very moment. But I gotta tell you, it's worth it. It really is. I think every once in a while, splurging for a larger, bigger, more expensive type luxury bath bomb, it does pay off in the end because you're, you're soaking yourself in a nice, luxurious scent feel. Her scents linger on your skin. The bombs feel soft and amazing. Your skin feels so fucking good afterwards. So I gotta say, Witch Baby is an all-in-all -all really good place to purchase bath bombs from. And don't get me wrong, only this one is the expensive one. She has coffin bombs, which are about eight bucks. So that lowers a little there. Then she's got other bombs, which are in the same, like, low price range as, like, I don't know. I mean, I want to say, like, the Psychic Bath Bomb falls around maybe six to seven. Anywhere in between, like, six to eight bucks. But that one's amazing. When you drop, drop it in the water, you would think it's going to be, like, a purple color or, like, a silver color or a blue color. And I think it's more of, like, a bright like a reddish type color like I don't know I can't remember what the hell it was but one of them oh that was in her autumn spell box okay she also has these boxes that on every quarterly like they're quarterly boxes so every every new season like quarterly type deal she puts out a spell box and it's about 40 bucks but if you subscribe to it you're paying about 36 dollars and you get the uh bath bombs that are not released on the site and I just watched a demo of one of the bath bombs that looks like the Psychic Bath Bomb. I know it's not the Psychic Bath Bomb, but it looked like it. And when, uh, actually it's Crazy Cat's video, that's who it was. When Crazy Cat put it in, all of a sudden it was like blood red. And I was like, holy shit, it's amazing. I think it was like a blood, blood moon bomb or something like that. It was so amazing. So I just subscribed to the uh, spell box. And I will be getting the winter spell box. Hell yeah. Okay, favorite items of the day have to be Witch Baby Soaps. She saved the day once again. She always saves the day for me. So, very happy. I love Witch Baby Soaps. I'm really loving the Oracle Bath Bomb. I'm praying to God this scent stays in the main line somewhere. I mean, please, you know, make me a perfume. Please, or anything. I'll pay you double for the perfumes. <laughs> I, I really love the smell. It's just Carnation and Lily, but... She's a good, she mixes really well. She makes really good scents. Like, who the hell thought to put apple and friggin' uh, rose together and that would make such an amazing smell? And that's the scent of love. It's a whole line of products. It's bath bomb, but in the bath bomb's $4. You can't go wrong with a $4 heart-shaped bath bomb that will fill your entire tub. And it, it has the most silkiest water, you know? Like, it's, for fucking $4, you're getting one hell of a bath bomb, man. Um, and they all kind of do something and mean something. I believe she's Wiccan. And uh, I think she kind of like studies the Wiccan religion and the whole nine. Which is not devil, devil worshipping or anything like that. So get that out of your goddamn head. 
Um, uh, basically, they like, like, I don't know, they're like real earthy people. So, I don't know much about Wiccan. It's not really my deal. I don't really get into it. Um, did I ever want to learn about it? Yeah, fuck yeah. When the craft came out, we were all into it. So, I think about it, I was a teenager when the craft came out. So, you know, that was a great movie. So, we were all kind of into, like, you know, calling the four corners and all the hoopla and shit. And finding the witch baby soaps and knowing that she has a regular item, like, line. And then she has a magical shop line. That's so cool. Hexbreaker soap is actually in the magical... Uh, shop line and apparently it's to uh, break the hexes that are over you and the the stress and restraint and everything that you feel so I'm gonna go scrub my ass in that little heart and <laughs> there goes the goddamn ice cream truck out there you guys hear that I'm gonna go scrub my ass in the hexbreaker heart and hopefully the rest of my day will go a lot better so we'll see how that works out but hell yeah which baby so is a definite go once again let me pop up that uh, coupon code for you um, it comes in every box that you order. It's kind of everybody knows the code. I'm sure you can get it off her Instagram as well. But uh, it is the Abracadabra, and it'll give you 5% off. So it's a pretty good idea to have a, a coupon code. And if she knows that I do these videos and everything, so she's going to continually put these cards with these codes on it and not, like, I don't know, cross out the code or put a sticker or something over it. I'm going to continually give it to you guys. So here you go. Abracadabra is your card, is your code. I love her little card. Uh, she has a Twitter. She's got a Tumblr. She's got Instagram. She's got Facebook. You can go find her all over. And little secret, come Black Friday, she is going to be doing some past bombs that she has not done in a while. I believe one is the Wolfman. Uh, I think they're trying to get the zombie one going. She's kind of like, you know keeping everybody a little guess in there, but she is putting out some of her older bombs that we have not seen in a long time. Uh, she's been four years in the business, so I definitely tip my hat off to her. She does pretty well. The one thing that I didn't like was her t-shirts. They're kind of missized, you know? Like the extra, extra large should have been like an extra large, you know? Um, but thus be it. Now, I have closed out my Witch Baby Soaps giveaway. And uh, my winner is picked. We did the computer generating in a whole nine. We got a winner. We also got a winner for the atomic bomb. Bomb. The atomic bomb and body giveaway. <clears throat> including the uh, Jack Nightmare Before Christmas skeleton dancing doll. So they're both closed out. Now tomorrow is Saturday. Saturday I will be announcing the winner. And as of Monday the products will be mailed out. Uh, unfortunately I do not like battling the post office or UPS um, on a Saturday. It's hell. Trust me. We're in New York. People swarm this place. It's really bad. Um, and if I go through UPS too, I'm online for two hours. And to tell you the truth, I just can't stand that long with a damn ten-year-old kid that's crying over his teeth constantly. So, uh, Monday morning I'll get up nice and early and go there at about 9 a.m. when the post office opens and I will send out your packages to the lucky winners that I will be announcing tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that video tomorrow. You might wake up and it might be up. I don't know. It depends on when Richie gets off work tonight, where I get a moment to jump on and film. Um, <laughs> but definitely, um, we have two winners coming up. You'll hear about it tomorrow. We have somebody who won the Witch Baby uh, products and somebody who won the Atomic Bomb and Night Before Christmas Jack Jack Doll. Witch Baby Soaps, thank you very much. This was an amazing order. Uh, did not really cost much. I mean, what did I pay? 25 bucks for all of it, really? I mean, yeah, and then I got my discount. So, that's amazing. I'm really happy here. And I pray to God, if you're watching Lady from Witch Baby Soaps, please keep the Oracle Bath Bombs. They're beautiful. They're amazing. I'll keep paying you to $10 for them every once in a while. Like, maybe once a week. Once every two weeks. Yeah, because then that gives me one of those bath bombs to set off a week. Uh, we're definitely going to demo another one of those, though, because the first time I didn't know you were supposed to answer the question. But we're going to demo it, and I'm literally going to answer the question, and we are going to see what the answer is. Why don't you guys give me a question to ask it down below? Uh, comment down below, what question should I ask the Oracle Bath Bomb when we go to demo it? Okay, guys, um, I love you all. This is the last box we are to unbox today. And we have our Bath Bomb demo coming up later on this evening. It might be coming up after 1 or 2 o'clock New York time. Because Richie doesn't get off work till late tonight, and he has to come home and watch Boogie while I set everything up and film in the whole nine, and then I can put Boogie in the tub. But Boogie's asleep right now, so which means we'll be up till 5 a.m. 
I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. And, yeah, I'll have your demo up and possibly by tomorrow morning if you don't stay awake late. Even though it is a Friday night, a majority of us go to bed because we have stuff to do in the morning. Um, you will see it first thing in the morning. So my apologies for that, but it's just kind of way the cookie's crumbling lately. I love you all. I'm going to go finish packing up my house, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.